things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the good God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, He made their glowing colors, He made their tiny wings. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the good God made them all. The purple-headed mountains, the river running by, the sunset and the morning that brightens up the sky. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the good God made them all. The cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the country, He made them every great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the good God made them all. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I welcome all of you to this Eucharistic celebration being live telecasted in Divyavani TV. And I am offering this Mass and praying for your intentions and especially I offer this Mass for this intention. From the Diocese of Vijayawada, Nandigamma Parish, this Mass is offered for Buddhaguri Christ Mary on her birthday for good health, good future, Thanks, thanking God for all the graces received by our sons, daughters-in-law, daughters, sons-in-law, and grandchildren. Especially pray for this intention and also pray for your own. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we are keeping the memoria of Saint Joseph Art, a person who desired unity of all Christians and thus he worked for it and then struggled and part of his struggle was he was martyred for this cause and today we are also reflecting on the kingdom of God where to find and what it is with these thoughts dear brothers and sisters let us enter into this Eucharistic celebration the kingdom of God is within us in each one of us Whenever we have these values of Christ, values of Christ present in us, then that is the kingdom of God. Wherever the values are in the society or in the family, that is the kingdom of God. So let us see whether we have these values that Jesus preaches, that Jesus teaches us. With these thoughts, as we enter into this Eucharistic celebration, let us enter into our hearts in the innermost being of ourself and see the areas wherein we are not in line with God, whether we are not doing the will of God or for sometimes we have gone away from faith or astray from faith, sometimes led others into sin and ourselves fallen into sin. Let of, for all these things, let us ask God's pardon and mercy.
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that fell Saint Joseph as he laid down his life for the shame, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. Accordingly, though I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do what is required, yet for love's sake I prefer to appeal to you. I, Paul, an ambassador and now a prisoner, also for Christ Jesus, I appeal to you for my child, Os Onasmos, whose father I have uh, become in my imprisonment. I am sending him back to you, sending my very heart. I would have been glad to keep him with me, in order that he might serve me on your behalf during my imprisonment for the gospel. But I prefer to do nothing without your consent, in order that your goodness might not be by compulsion, but of your own free will. Perhaps this is why he has parted from you for a while, that you might have, have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, as a beloved brother, especially to me, but how, but how much more to you both in the flesh and in the Lord. So if you consider me your partner, receive him as you would receive me. If he has wronged you at all, or owes you anything, charge that to my account. I, Paul, write this with my own hands. I will reply it to say nothing of your owing, owing me every, even your own self. Yes, brother, I want some benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's hand. He is, he is happy, happy who, who is, is helped, helped by Jacob's God. It is the Lord who keep, keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. Your response, he is happy. He is happy. Who is helped by Jacob's hand. Who is helped by Jacob's God. It is he who gives bread to the hungry. The Lord who sets prisoners free. Your response, he is happy. He is happy. Who is helped by Jacob's hand. Who is helped by Jacob's hand. The Lord gives sight to the blind. He raises up those who are bowed down. It is the Lord who loves the just, the Lord who protects the strangers. Your response, 
He is happy. He is happy. Who is helped by Jacob's hand? He is helped by Jacob's hand. He uploads the widow and the or- orphan, but trots the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. Zion's God for age to age. Alleluia. Your response? He is happy. He is happy. Who is helped by Jacob's hand? Who is helped by Jacob's hand? Sing alleluia to the Lord Sing alleluia to the Lord Sing alleluia sing alleluia sing alleluia to the Lord Jesus is risen from the dead Jesus is risen from the dead Jesus is risen Jesus is risen Jesus is risen from the dead Sing alleluia to the Lord Sing alleluia to the Lord Sing alleluia sing alleluia sing alleluia to the Lord The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 17, verses from 20 to 25. Luke's Gospel, chapter 17, verses from 20 to 25. The kingdom of God is in your midst. Being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, Jesus answered them, "The kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed, nor will they say, 'Lo, here it is, or there, for behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you." and he said to the disciples the days are coming when you will desire to see one of the days of the son of man and you will not see it and they will say to you lo there or lo here do not go do not follow them for as the lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other So will the son of man be in his day but first he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation the gospel of the lord praise to your lord jesus christ My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus where is this kingdom of god suppose we ask this question where is this kingdom of god to children immediately they point out their fingers up not only children even others where is this kingdom of god immediately our sight our fingers go up showing to the skies is that the place the kingdom of god but then today luke chapter 17 verse 21 says the kingdom of god is not here or there don't run but it says the kingdom of god is among you 
amidst you. But dear brothers and sisters, what is this kingdom? Is it a place or is it a state? Or is it a place filled with gospel values? The values that Jesus preaches to us. One day, grandfather and grandson, <clears throat> these two will go to a field, their own field. And as they were going around the fields, and grandfather was telling him so many gospel truths. At one point of time, grandfather began to say about this kingdom of God. And he said, the kingdom of God is within us. The kingdom of God is among us. And then the grandson did not understand anything. As they were walking around, and this grandfather was carrying grandson, they approached the well, and the same question continued. What is this kingdom? Where it is? And at that moment, grandfather thought how to explain to this grandson. is so small to understand. So he said, okay, lifting up this grandson, he showed himself into that well. And then he asked grandson, what do you see, son? What do you see? And grandson said, I see my own image, my own reflection. And he said, okay, that is naturally we can see. But suppose we see when, when I show you into this water, and if you see Christ, then you can say that the kingdom of God is within you. So my dear brothers and sisters, we all see mirror. When we are in front of a mirror, we see our own reflection. But if the reflection is of Christ, if you stand in front of mirror and Jesus appears to you in the image, then the kingdom of God is within us, in us amidst us and that is what um, the word of God is speaking to us the kingdom of God what is this Romans chapter 14 verse 17 the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking but righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Spirit so wherever we have this righteousness peace and joy then that is the kingdom of God but my brothers and sisters, Romans thought the kingdom of God is in the political line. They thought that it is a political kingdom. Greeks, for them, the kingdom of God must be their knowledge. But as Jesus was speaking to the Jews and to the Pharisees, he said, the kingdom of God is not like that, but the kingdom of God is among you, within you. And what is that is righteousness, joy, and peace. My dear brothers and sisters, so wherever we have this righteousness, joy, peace, unity, equality, and that will be the kingdom. And today, when Jesus said the kingdom of God is amidst you, among you, within you, so do I find all these kingdom values within me? Then I can say that the kingdom of God is within me. If these values that Jesus taught us are found in the family, then the family becomes the kingdom of God. And if these values are found in the community, in the society, then definitely that society, that community will become the kingdom of God. My dear brothers and sisters, today the kingdom values are clearly seen in the first reading. The first reading is taken from the letter to the Philomene, St. Paul's letter to the Philomene. Philomene, how many chapters are there? How many? So some people say just one chapter, 
that's right and some people only say there are only verses how many verses this chapter has just 25 verses the book consists of just 25 verses and who are the important characters in this 25 verses one is philomen and then onesimus and st paul the dialogue and the conversation is between them and who is this philomen philomen was a rich man but a good friend of st paul and onesimus is a servant a slave with philomen and st paul from the prison is writing to philomen by sending this onesimus back to him he says this onesimus now is baptized now he is uh, replacing me so before i could replace him i am sending him to you o oh, philomen now is no longer a slave like before is no longer a servant is freed because he is baptized he is freed from sin and satan he is no longer the same person and he says st paul is saying about this onesimus saying that this man is my son my child and i am sending him to you he is a different person now so my, what makes him different is the baptism galatians chapter 3 verse 28 says there is neither jew nor gentile there is neither a slave or a free man there is neither a woman or man because everyone all are one in christ jesus everyone is one in christ jesus and that oneness is brought about through baptism and that's why st paul as he sends this onesimus is saying is different now after his baptism he becomes one like us he is no longer a slave he is free my dear brothers and sisters so this acceptance of somebody as a brother that's already a kingdom value accepting somebody as your own equal that is a kingdom value and this philomen by accepting onesimus is practicing the kingdom values so the kingdom of god is among us within us and where there is unity and that is the kingdom today saint is saint josephat saint josephat worked for the unity of all christians as we have this unity octave and this josephat being a bishop he worked for the unity of all the denominations of all christians and then part of his struggle was that he was killed by one mob for this great cause he was killed and therefore he becomes a martyr a witness he should is witness through his blood so that unity aspect is one part of that kingdom value so my dear brothers and sisters jesus is saying don't look for kingdom here and there or in that person or that person look into yourself the little boy was looking his own reflection and he felt happy had that been reflection of jesus then he would be much more happy so when i show myself in the mirror then i should see christ in me christ reflection that is present within me then i can definitely say the kingdom of god is within me so my dear brothers and sisters where there is righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit that is kingdom of god so wherever the values of jesus are present that is the kingdom of god wherever the gospel values are practiced that is the kingdom of god the kingdom of god is amidst you the kingdom of god is within you so today let us reflect whether these kingdom values are present in us or not
Amen. Let us present all our petitions, asking God's mighty help and assistance and graces. God, our loving Father, I surrender our Pope, our bishops, the priests, the nuns, and all the catechists, Lord, as they are trying to build your kingdom, as they are going everywhere proclaiming and the gospel, bless all their efforts, and if they are troubled, be with them as their strength. For this grace we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, I surrender the Vivarni TV <coughs> and all its personnel and all the families working over here. Bless their effort, Lord. And Lord, bless all those people who are spiritually and materially contributing to the growth of the Vivarni TV. And Lord, today I present the intention offered for this Mass. Asking your mighty graces upon all these efforts, may your will be done as they have this motto that the gospel should reach every door. May this be fulfilled. For this grace we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, as we have reflected on the theme, the kingdom of God among us, and the kingdom values are joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. Lord, may we practice these values and, and may our reflection be Christ's reflection. May our step, may our hands doing whatever it is, may that be a reflection of Christ. And as Christ taught us these values, may we practice and then Try to build the kingdom. For this grace, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us in silence of our hearts pray for our personal and family needs. Let's also surrender all those who are sick, all those who are bedridden, all those who are affected by coronavirus, let us surrender all the countries wherever this virus is, is more. Let us ask the Lord to eradicate this virus so that the normal life may come back. Let us surrender all our Catholic families that there may be peace in every family, that all problems may be solved that all wives and husbands may be together, the children may be obedient, doing wonderful things in life. Let us surrender all those families who are really facing difficulties this moment. Let God's presence, lay, may this kingdom values be present in all the families. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Lord, we find a giving when in our lives, Lord, you will go on leaving. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that Saint Joseph hath professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Joseph Art, Hold out like Christ, glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Tumabala our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Joseph art, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Savior's command and found by divine teaching we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites his chosen people come and die. With his manna he doth feed and supplies their every need. All is sweet to sup with Jesus all the time. Come and dine, the master call it, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry call us now, come and dine. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry call us now, come and dine. The disciples came to land. The surveying Christ command For the master called them to them come and dine There they found their heart's desire Bread and fish upon the fire Thus he invites us to another every time Come and dine, the master call it come and dine You may feast to Jesus' table all the time he who fed the multitude turned the water into
to wine to the hungry god is not come in time he who fed the multitude turned the water into wine to the hungry god is not come in time soon the lamb will take his bride to be ever ready sight all the hosts of heaven will assemble be oh it will be a glorious sight all the saints in spotless white and with jesus they will face eternally come and dine the master call it come and dine you may face the jesus table all the time he who fed the multitude turn the water into wine to the hungry god is not come and dine he who fed the multitude turn the water into wine to the hungry god is not come and dine let us pray May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following Saint Joseph our example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks, thanks be, be to god, god.
Which one will have a smiley face? 